Hey the Diamond Army, or new people, welcome to the channel and welcome to the video. So for this video, I wanted to do something a little different than I normally do, which is, well, gaming reactions and stuff like that. But this one, this one is completely different. Yes, okay, the level up spotlight, the extra boost spotlight, the Diamond Army spotlight, it's all a thing and it's all to help you guys. But this, this little secret, that I have, I'm about to give to you guys so you can thrive with your channel as well. So here's the deal. Here's how I did it. And it started all the way back in 2017 when I reacted to, well, it was my very first reaction to Rumi Official. That thing has almost a full million views. It's on its way to 900,000 views. And my Black Griffin video, that's also, it's at like 200k views right now. So here's the thing, you go to my channel and you notice that, you know, there's gameplay, there's reactions, there's, you know, vlogs. But here's the thing, which one of those, act shut up dog. Okay, hang on, I gotta close my freaking window. But anyways, here's the thing. You wanna grow, here's how. And I've told people this as well. If you wanna grow, do a video in every single category there is on YouTube. You know, do reactions, do vlogs, do gaming videos, do challenges, do pranks, do whatever. Do everything on this platform. And here's the thing, the view ratio. If one of those videos gets more views in the in the amount of time that it, like let, let's say you do a gaming a gaming video Fortnite Minecraft Black Ops Grand Theft Auto whatever and it gets like 40 views and then you do a reaction video and it gets like a hundred thousand views obviously you know which one is taking the lead and what. Well, it's like a scale, like the reactions are like killing the gaming. But anyways, yeah, it's kind of like that. You do a video on one of the categories and you see what kind of view ratio it gets. Now, before you do the other video, that number of views right there, it could be either the peak of your views, it could be the midline average, or it can be below average. And by that, I mean comparing to the video you're about to make that could potentially be bigger than that video, or it could be right at the same line, or it could be below that video. So, you gotta pay attention, it's like, you, you gotta, like, you gotta explore every single category on YouTube, create it on your own, make original content, sure, do what you gotta do. If you wanna, you know, be inspired by Mr. Beast, hey, no one's stopping you, it's freaking YouTube, people copy people all the time. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, all you gotta do is just make videos that, you know, obviously that you enjoy and compare the views. And let's say, you know, you do a video and gets 100 views. Cool, that's, that's awesome, you know, that's three, that's three digits right there. But then you do another video and that one, uh, guess what, that thing got like a thousand, two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand, it's growing like crazy. Do a sequel to that video, like I did with Rumi, and then uh, Black Griffin, and the Black Griffin versus Rumi. And that stuff is getting up there! I mean, take a look at my most popular videos. It's the Rumi official one, it's the Black Griffin one, it's, it's I'm freaking, I mean, yeah, the Markiplier one, but that one's not in the Rumi and Black Griffin category, but it's still, it's a reaction video. The reaction videos on this channel get more views than I've ever seen on any other video I've ever done before. Uh, even though 2017 was my, was my peak, I, like every video got in the triple digits was awesome. I'm trying to recreate that, but you gotta see the thing is, you wanna make content, you wanna grow your channel, you wanna get a thousand subscribers in less than a month's time, follow this formula. You want to make content, compare the views, make a sequel to the one that gets the most views, and if that one keeps getting bigger, then make another one, and make another one, and make another one. Milk it. I know people are gonna say, oh, he's just milking it for views. Yes, milk it, because that's how you grow. And see, 
But the, the case is with me, I'm wanting to grow my channel because like if the subscribers get bigger and the views get bigger, the level of spotlight and the extra boost spotlight gives you guys a better chance at gaining more yourself because the level of spotlight and the extra boost spotlight is basically, it's a hot seat. It's an interview hot seat. Basically, people get to know you better, and then if they like your content, boom, subscribe, boom, subscribe. They just keep doing it. You could be at, I don't know, random number, 200 subscribers. Your goal is to get to 500, boom. We have more than 100,000 subscribers or whatever, bam. You're gonna get to like probably 1,000. Shoutouts don't always mean anything. You want to get to know the person and their channel and what kind of content they make, how they make the content, who they are, what kind of person they are so that you know what kind of content to expect from the other people. That's how it is. And see, also look at it from a viewer's perspective. You wanna watch somebody that, you know, does great editing, they have a great sense of humor, maybe you like your memes a lot, and they that's what they have, they're a meme channel, or you really love gaming videos, and oh my god, they have the best sense of humor ever, and it's your kind of sense of humor, and oh my god, that gaming video was just awesome. Or, uh, oh wow, that vlog was super cool. The B-roll, the cinematic music. I mean, whatever the case may be, whatever kind of content you like is the kind of content you gotta make and make it how you would like to see it on somebody else's video. And then maybe, I mean, I'm not saying copy, I'm saying do what you would want to see on somebody else's channel. Maybe a big, maybe a big YouTuber, Logan Paul, or maybe McJargonuggets, or maybe, I don't know, Casey Neistat, Roman Atwood, whoever the heck it is, if you enjoy their stuff, try and mimic what they do. I'm not saying copy their editing style or anything. I'm trying to say, do for yourself what you would want to see on YouTube as well. Do something that would catch your eye. And maybe you'll catch whoever, you know, watches Roman Atwood or Casey Neistat or whoever. It'll catch their eye and say, oh wow, you're actually really good. Bam! Your video gets a ton of views, blows the other stuff out of the water that you've already attempted with the different categories, and there you go. You just grew your channel. And you potentially just got all 1,000 subscribers and plus, and maybe even your 4,000 watch hours that you need for monetization. See, it's a big old domino effect. You get 1,000 subscribers plus, you get your 4,000 watch hours by live streaming. Um, by the way, if you're mobile, if you're somebody on mobile and you're like less than 1,000 subscribers, you'll need like a laptop or something with a, a software because, you know, well, unless you get DU Recorder. That, that's for another video. <laughs> but yeah, live streaming helps. You know, making the kind of content that I was just talking about, that helps a lot. Especially if you get them recommended, Dude, their friends tell their friends, their friends tell their friends, and then their friends, tell, and it just keeps going and going and going. Man, those views keep on accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. They just keep popping in. And you just got your success. That is how to grow on YouTube. That is how to be successful. That's how I did it, and that's how you can do it. That's how we can grow as a community. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys understood what I was talking about. And hopefully this helps you guys and it works for you guys. And if it does, way later down the line, you can leave a like in this video or maybe you can do it right now. <laughs> and you can even comment down below or hit me up on Twitter at RealGDiamond and we can talk. Or if you have Instagram, then you can follow me at Diamond Power Productions and you can do that there as well. So yeah, let me know how this goes out. Yeah, you know, let, let me let me know how this goes for you guys. I, I'm really, really wanting to know. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to keep the diamond fire alive and remember the advice: take it or leave it. You want to grow? Here's your ticket. See ya.